welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tower Readings and for today's pick a card, this is going to be your most recent past life with this person. So make sure this is someone who you actually have a close connection with um, as well as your personality, their personality. Obviously there's going to be changes. It's a whole different life with this person and again, it's going to, we're going to learn more about your connection in the past life see if there's any similarities any differences um but yeah so i did four piles for this reading this is pile one two three and four choose one that you were drawn to initially i will post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments and if you'd like to book a more personal and in in-depth reading you can go to the link on your screen now it's very easy to book and it's a video just like this one. Um, but yeah, please give a big like, subscribe, welcome to the fam, and let's get right into it. One, so let's explore this past life connection together with this person. Again, this is general. Um, so first we're going to look at their personality in the most recent past life with you as well as your personality and again we'll kind of well you'll notice any differences or similarities um but for them we have the knight of cups so very romantic person they were probably more than likely a water sign masculine energy they had masculine energy um but very romantic, very charming, probably, um, I, I wouldn't really say too flirty. I would say that they were like faithful, but they could be flirty just because um, I feel they came off as so charming. Nine of Cups, very uh, self-reliant, very self-confident. I feel they put their own needs first a lot in the past life, I feel. They're very content with who they are. Um, sorry, who they were. Um, Cause the nine is very much about uh, self accomplishments and that's what I'm getting here. Um, so then we have the eight of wands and this is telling me that also very passionate person. So, it, so basically what I'm getting is that this person was romantic uh, again probably very charming I'm assuming they came off this way definitely um, I feel again they were very like s focused on themselves and focused on their own um, happiness I feel again like I'm like um, I kept getting like they put themselves first and then again with the eight of wands very passionate um, like kind of moved fast type of person now let's see your person what your personality was like we have judgment i kind of really like this card it shows me that you were a very open book in your past life in your most recent past life very open um i feel you were honest with others as well you were real um i feel the judgment card is actually a really good card to get because it really to me shows someone being so open like so raw um three of wands a go-getter um with the three of wands you don't just you know say something you do it with the three of wands this is how you were um you always started new creative projects because i also get that you were very passionate this is probably what brought you two together um is the passion and then we have the tower card so <laughs> um for your, for personality wise, I feel you were like a firecracker. What I'm getting, this is what I'm getting. Um, you're definitely, and it kind of goes, it actually goes hand in hand with judgment now that I think about it, because it's someone who's brutally honest and like a firecracker. Um, you had very very fiery fiery energy. I kind of want to get a clarifier for the tower, but obviously, I, you, we kind of get, we have an idea for sure. Um, you were just someone who was honest, you know, brutally honest. Let's see. Yeah, King of Cups. So yeah, you again, you were just an honest person. Um, 
With the King of Cups, you are probably more emotionally mature than this other person since they're being um, portrayed here as the Knight of Cups and you're being portrayed here as the King of Cups. You were just honest about how you felt. And I feel a lot of people saw that as someone who is very expressive about their emotions. Um, and I feel it wasn't taken in a bad way because I know the tower card can be seen negatively, but this isn't negative at all I'm getting. It's just saying like you were like a firecracker. But it seems to me you were still very kind. And again, you were probably more emotionally mature than this person. Only because again, they're being shown as the knight. So let's see what else we have. So we have for our tea cards misunderstanding. So I can see how there would be some clashes between these two personalities. I can definitely see it, but we see with the wall card that there was probably a lot of misunderstandings in the past life. And I feel this probably caused you guys to clash a lot. Um, then I had a month October and I asked for a clarifier. For some of you, this could even relate to this life, which is probably why it's being brought up. But I think you met them in October because this is a goal-oriented person. What do we just say? This person's very passionate. This tells me that you met this person in October in your past life, um, that they came into your life in the month of October. So we have free yourself for the romance angels for the past life and you deserve love. So free yourself and you deserve love. I feel this person probably wasn't show oh you know how we talked about self with the nine of um cups i feel maybe they didn't show you a lot of emotions they probably didn't show you um what they were so or doing what they were supposed to be doing like in the connection and you needed to free yourself i feel eventually you did uh realize that you did deserve love um eventually you realize this so you were able to kind of like free yourself from that because I feel this person wasn't really again showing you the affection that you needed yep and then love who you are so you deserve love and love who you are so you are actually what I'm getting to is that you were actually like a really good person and you were someone who was a catch when it came to love which tells me that this person was probably the one who was more in the wrong I guess you could say because they weren't giving you their love and they were probably playing it off um or again maybe with the wall card there were just some misunderstandings going on i mean hey that could have been it too but overall with you deserve love and love who you are um you need to realize that this well you don't need to realize it now because it was the past life but this person was very like self so it's like when someone's very self um, they don't have a lot of love to give to other people, if you know what I'm saying. And that's why in the past life you were being told to kind of like free yourself because you deserved better. So yeah, that was your connection with them in your most recent past life. Uh, maybe showed you again some kind of, some things that went on, some car karmic cycles, any, you know, whatever you picked up on. But that was pile one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Your past life connection like with this person. Now, first we're going to kind of look at their personality in the most recent past life, as well as your personality. Um, so we'll look at theirs. We have Knight of Oh sorry, yeah, Knight of Swords. So they could have been an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this shows me that this, um, they were probably very uh, um, head over heart type of person, um, quick thinker, um, someone who is like a lot of masculine energy, more yang. I feel also really intelligent as well, very smart, but personality wise definitely would speak what's on their mind and yeah, quick thinker.
then we have the eight of swords so um so this person not only head over heart but they're also the type of person where they're stuck in their head they, they like i feel in this past life they were so like wrapped up mentally that they ended up wrapping themselves up mentally like with the knight of swords he's very again straight mental not dealing with the heart emotions or anything and I feel here with the Eight of Swords probably um, didn't open up very easily to other people. I'm kind of getting this was definitely their personality. They could they could have actually came off pretty cold as well with the Eight of Swords, but just because they're so closed off. And look, oh my gosh, Page of Swords. So yeah, guys, literally, I'm just getting like this young energy. So since we're actually going from the Knight to the Page, probably a little immature is what I'm also getting. <laughs> Only because we're literally going from the night to the page. But yeah, someone who is very like, um, didn't open up easily, but had a lot to say though. I feel once they open up to people, like if it's you or if it's someone else, they have a lot to say. Um, but yeah, with the page of swords, this is saying like very intelligent. Um, I feel this is something you'll notice right away too and talks a lot talks a lot about themselves in general and their success their goals um yeah that's kind of just what i get with their i mean yeah that's what i definitely get with their personality let's see yours so we have six of wands so look at you over here on your horse um very victorious it shows me that you had a lot of accomplishments in your recent past life um, very passionate, very driven. I feel you were looked up to with the Six of Wands as well. Um, you probably led a group of people. The Magician, wow. My, look at you, very magical. You, you know, you, I can see why this person would be drawn to you. Uh, you know, we have the Magician here and this is showing, you know, a good manifester um you basically were able to have whatever you wanted you probably um worked you probably were um what do i want to say like you did well in different areas no matter what it was when it came to your life like you were always able to kind of find a way i feel to be successful because with your personality, I mean, I feel like you, you were very, like, motivated and, I mean, you probably came off as very magical. And the seven, the seven of Swords. So someone who's, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, this is actually, um, I'm getting you're someone who's very quick on their toes. You're someone who's very, like, cunning and, um... I really don't, I don't get any bad vibes. I'll get a clarifier for our seven, but I'm just getting that you were like, again, kind of, yeah, page of rods. You were just very like good at what you were doing. Cause sometimes the seven of swords can actually mean skill. And I feel like you were just um, very skilled. I feel you again with the page of rods, you had a lot of talents and ambitions and you also had a lot of motivation. You were probably a fire sign. I'm also kind of getting so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you were probably a fire sign just because we do have a lot of fire. We do have a young fire sign coming up here, but, um, yeah, so that was your, I mean, your personality was very great over here. <laughs> So for our tea cards, we have four leaf clover. So great, good fortune. And wind chimes, peace and harmony. So it seems to me like you guys actually had um, a really peaceful connection. It, it really seems that way. I actually get good vibes. So the, these personalities probably blended very well. Okay, and ask for help. I like this card because this tells me in your recent past life when you were with them, you were able to kind of like you weren't afraid to ask them for help. Like they were always there when you needed them. And I feel this is kind of what kept the peace and the harmony. I feel this was a big thing and I feel it was vice versa too. I feel like if they needed something, they could ask you and it was automatically given. And then we have this could be the one surprise, surprise. And we have reconciliation. So you guys probably 
<coughs> excuse me, broke up a few times, not gonna lie. But they always thought you were the one, and vice versa, you always thought they were the one, so you two always came back together no matter what at the end of the day. Um, there was always, <laughs> there was always makeup sex. There, I feel like that's what I'm getting. Um, so yeah, I mean, you tell me guys, is this, are there any similarities? Are there maybe some differences now in this past life? Um, sorry from your past life to now. Let me know below in those comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Great. So let's dive deep more into this past life connection with this person. Again, this is going to be your most recent past life with this person. Um, so first we're going to look at their personality, then we'll look at yours and see. Again, you can comment below if you notice any similarities or any differences from this life to the past life. So let's see their personality. Ooh, look at that, nine of pentacles. Okay, so the nine right away, I get this person, definitely self-care was a priority. Um, their personality, they came off as very um, like like high status, like, like very um, passionate and successful with the nine of pentacles. Again, this has a lot to do with self-care. So they expressed a lot of self-care um, and it showed. But their personality is also very humble as well. They But yeah but at the same time like more to themselves queen of swords so they probably had more of a feminine energy in this life um and we have a um swords here so this is the queen of swords very intelligent very motivated again it's even similar to the nine of pentacles because they're both very independent um strong willed i also get with the queen of swords also and what else let's see what we have from the last card that we can see in the sun okay yeah i mean and also very happy so they also came off as very very happy again even if this you know regardless i just feel like this person um they came off as positive. I feel they probably had like, even though they were very independent and kind of like put themselves out there and had a good image at the same time, they liked to be very playful as well. And that was part of their personality. So, I mean, that's a really nice makeup. And, you know, with the swords, obviously this is saying that they were more of like a logical or practical thinker so your personality we have the hermit so you were actually more introverted in this past life very wise as well um you 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 let your soul guide you you were you were an old soul yep four of pentacles stability was very very important to you this was important to you in your past life and it showed um you were also seen as a very stable person but overall like as a personality oh, excuse me as a personality trait this is saying like very um i feel like you were probably very uh introverted and closed off um but also very stable and wise. So not to say that you wouldn't open up to someone, aka them, but this is just how your personality was. Um, very concerned about, again, like finances and stability. Seven of Cups, you were probably daydreaming a lot. Um, you, <laughs> yeah, with the Seven of Cups um, and personality, it's kind of like you had all different kinds of emotions, maybe that you hit a lot as well, is what I'm kind of getting with this. But overall, you, you know, you just, you weren't someone who was emotionless. Like you did have all these different kinds of emotions um, let's see what else that what we can get for you. Seven of Cups. Strength, yeah, and you had a lot of strength as well. A very strong person. So 
Seven of Cups and the strength, this is saying, like, you know, the many emotions that you did have, it's, like, very strong, very strong emotions. And I feel that's what made you so wise. So we have, it is safe for you to love and getting to know each other. So it seems to me that it was important for the both of you to get to know each other. Um... It is safe for you to love. The more you got to know them, the more safer you felt with them. I feel like this person, again, their energy is very alluring. It's very magnetic, especially, again, with the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Swords is very confident, and then the Sun, you know? Um, but the more you got to know this person, and, and for the same, the same for them as well, the more you got to know them, the safer you know, it felt to love you and fall in love with you. And it was kind of easy. Okay, and express love through gifts. So you two definitely did this. This is how you showed each other that you loved each other. You would give get each other small things here and there. And um, because we're looking at the mutual energy and I feel you both really enjoyed this about each other. And it was like probably a little thing that you guys had owl good advice from a wise person so i feel this is nice because this is saying that you know they did offer you very good advice when you two were a couple and when you were together in this life and acts yeah force is working against you so what I, this what these two are saying is like when there were enemies or if you had two-faced friends or whatever the case or if you were dealing with a, a shitty job I feel this person would get you out of that and they would kind of pick you up and, you know, pick you up out of that and give you really good advice. So that way it's like you already know the next step that you're going to take and you barely had to do anything. You just had to kind of listen to them and they were able to offer you that good advice when forces were working against you. So it worked out very well. Um, so let's see if this relationship was overall successful in this life well, in past life oh unfortunately no in the pa in this past life that it wasn't because <clears throat> it seems to me with the six of pentacles reversed and the four of cups it's saying that there was not an equal give and take there was someone um, obviously I'm not sure who because it's general, um, but it, se it seems to me like someone was, there was just not equal give and take. Someone was not giving enough emotionally. Um, hmm. And again, it's very hard to say who because it could be either or, but there was just an imbalance. There was a tip in the scale. Someone was not, you know, pulling their weight emotionally or maybe even both. Um, yeah, and with the the lack of the give and take, it kind of obviously probably fizzled out or, you know, whatever the case. But that was pile three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in your past life connection with them. Your most recent, um, we're going to take a look at your personality, their personality, as well as the connection as a whole, um, and whether or not like it was successful. So let's look at their personality. So Ten of Wands, what I get here is that this person could take on a lot at once. Um, they also, I feel like they come off as someone who's very busy or carries a lot of weight on their shoulders. This is how other people would see them. Um, Three of Cups, they like to have fun. They like to go out. They like, they probably like to drink i feel definitely just be around other people have a good time um and we have two of pentacles so also very practical with the two of pentacles i feel and that's why we also have the ten of wands because they were very hard worker that's kind of what i get with ten of wands as well i don't know why but i was just getting because 
sometimes when I think of the Ten of Wands, I do think of some because they, you know, it's someone who can definitely hold a lot of weight. Um, and Two of Pentacles tells me also a very practical and kind of balanced personality. I mean, I feel not too like extraordinary, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's see yours. So we have Knight of Pentacles. Um, very, what I get with your personality, it's very goal oriented. I feel once you had a plan, you stuck to it. This is just how you were. You were this type of person. Um, you could be trusted and counted on. Ooh. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Um, this tells me that. Why? Oh my gosh, it's crazy that you that both of you had two tens here. Maybe this is what drew you together. Now that I'm looking at it, um, because even you, I mean, I don't care hard worker, but I definitely see you. You also, it's like your personality with Ten of Swords. You probably carried a lot of weight on your shoulders. You probably came off as um sad or you know. Mm. Let's see what we have next to the Ten of Swords. Yeah, like someone who someone who's been through a lot of endings. I feel it showed a lot in your personality. Like you're the type of person, well, in your past life where you were hurt, but you were so hurt in a way that it, it was you were able to kind of express this in a way through your personality. Um because with the seven of wands, it's like I feel like you didn't really let anyone in. Um, you were very, you did persevere, um, perseverance is a very good trait to have, so we have perseverance here, and like you didn't give up, but like I said, you also didn't let a lot of people in, and I, I feel like it had a lot to do with the fact that there was harsh endings. Let's get a clarifier for our tens. <clears throat> yeah, Queen of Rods. It's kind of like there was like no confidence. There was an ending to something that really I'm kind of getting. It definitely like killed your drive. It killed your confidence. Um, and this is just how you came off after that, I feel. Um kind of closed off and like I said at the same time though very goal oriented and um people would describe you as someone who was perseverant so someone obviously who had been through a lot of shit and kind of had gotten through it and um did so very well and meticulously so Let's see our cards, which we have a romance celebration party. So I feel since this person over here in your past life, your person like to go out so much, I feel like you guys probably had a lot of fun. Um, hills, however, yeah, you guys did have obstacles to overcome. I mean, the multiple tens tells me also that there could have been multiple endings between the both of you. I feel like it's kind of what I get as well. And that could have shaped your personality in a way because sometimes that happens. Um, but yeah, so there were definitely obstacles to overcome. You know, there was romance, of course. It was there. Um, physical touch was very important to the both of you, actually, in this life. I feel um, it was very important and it was a way that you spoke to each other the best, if I could <laughs> Yeah, if I could say that. Um, you guys spoke to each other very well, physically. Then we have playfulness. Hey, hey, goes hand in hand. You guys, I feel like you guys actually had very strong sexual chemistry, so I'm just going to say it. Um, but yeah, love yourself first. So, it, it, mm, so what I'm getting, yeah, is that there was something that had caused you to not put yourself first right? That's probably one of the obstacles or the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome was actually putting yourself first. Um, yeah, because I feel like this person definitely could have definitely hurt you and kind of stabbed you in the back. So
Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and I asked if it was like if the connection was successful. Overall, I feel like there was always anxiety here. With the Nine of Swords, I'm getting that there was always anxiety. Um, and things just kind of paused. I'm kind of getting like, like I feel after that hurt took place, things kind of paused. Um, and you weren't able to move forward. So I feel like in a way you stayed with them. But technically speaking, like physically you stayed with them. But like mentally and like on the inside especially you know with the hanged man and the chariot um you weren't able to move forward so and that's why you were being told to love yourself first which i don't think you did maybe that's a lesson you needed to learn in this life for some of you i don't know but maybe um but that was pile four i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one